publishers are heading more towards the idea of books becoming objets d'art. I think an answer to electronic reading is that you make something that has a tactility that once you pick it up, you don't want to put it down, you want to own it. I'm Josh Palmano. I have a specialist comic shop at number one Berwick Street. Back in 79, I met a guy at a specials gig, and uh, he worked in comics, and through him, I got a Saturday job. Over the next few years, I got more involved in the scene and opened my own place in 1986. One of the first specialist comic shops in the UK traded from number 10 Berwick Street, so the street had already established a strong connection to the medium before we arrived. After trading for 25 years in Bloomsbury, uh, we moved to Soho five years ago. The field has expanded so much since the inception of the shop in 1986, and now encompasses books for pretty much anybody. Because of our position within the comics community, we have a lot of creators passing through London will visit us, which gives us the opportunity to build those relationships. We hold plenty of regular events. We've got book reading groups. We have a, a drink and draw where we'll get a couple of creators in uh, to just meet our regular customers. They'll go down the pub and draw together. The professionals will pass on those concepts and skills and ways of working to aspirational artists. It's amazing how welcoming the Soho community is. It's very much a village atmosphere, but not an exclusive one. There's a certain vibrancy to the hustle and bustle of the street that seeps into the business community.